Hello and welcome back to another video of the Bison Tech. Okay, today's video is gonna be about the new uh, versions of the 3D modeling software. Recently, Octane, V-RAID, and Blender, they announced the new software, uh, the new releases for the new video cards. The main reason of this video is we're gonna be comparing if the, the performance improved on this new version. For example, we have the Blender with 2.80 is the latest version, then V-Ray that now implements CPU and GPU on the same test. That's really interesting to see it. And we have the Octane Bench with the ray tracing that can be activated. The machine we're gonna be using for this is a Z5000 and you can find all the information of this machine on the link below. Uh, right here we got four Titan RTX Ecodai 99980XE, which is the top of the line CPU for, from Intel on the consumer side and uh, we have a 128 gigs of RAM. Now, the difference on this is also we're gonna be running the test for CPU. It's interesting because this CPU costs $2,000. And if you compare the CPU with one of the video cards, the Titan, which is 2,500, uh, we're gonna see actually the performance in doing 3D modeling with CPU or doing with GPU. Now on this part of the test, we're gonna be checking temperatures and noise. Uh, the main reason of the water cooling system, why you wanna go with water cooling instead of just air cooling, is because temperature will be lower and this will impact on performance. So every time on normal system they have four or two video cards, even two video cards with air cooling, you will see that uh, the temperature will go so high, talking about 86, 89 on this Titan RTX video card. And of course, that will activate Thelma tooling that will put the video cards uh, to work on lower performance. And that at the end will impact on your render time, same for 3D modeling or uh, and the same for the video editing. So right here uh, we have, uh, behind me we have the machine. Uh, we're going to be testing now uh, the benchmark, uh, it's Octane Render. We're going to be using the four video cards and uh, we're going to see actually what if we have any drops on performance on the, uh, on the monitor here. So just a quick view here, on the right side we have Octane Bench, uh, the application. Four GPUs are selected, we're going to start running the test and on the left side we're going to have a few values here. The first one on the left will be temperatures, then we have the wattage consumption of the video card 
and the memory. This video card has 24 gigs of RAM and we're gonna see how much we're gonna use it. And of course the utilization of the GPU. Okay, we're gonna start running the test and see how it performs. So we can see here, this is very important to, to see. Uh, the water consumption automatically goes up to 280, almost uh, a maximum. 273, 280, but it's a maximum. Normally, if you do this with a normal video card, air cooling, the temperature will jump 75, 76 right away. And since we are being testing this test will take like two, three minutes, video card will get so hot. But with the water cooling system, you can have it running at 24 seven, no problem. It will keep stable at the maximum performance. So far, we have been running this test for two minutes, two minutes, three minutes, and we see the performance still the same. Temperatures on video card 55 maximum, some of the video cards, and all the other ones are working at 50 degrees Celsius. Water consumption is still the same. It jumps between 240 to 280, depending on the test that the, this benchmark is doing. But so far, it's very stable right now. Now, on the other side, we would like to measure the noise because usually with this video card, NVIDIA did a great job with this new fans uh, layout. They have two fans now, and actually, they don't run uh, that loud compared with another uh, brand like Asus or, e or Gigabyte. But still, uh, it's noisy when you have two, three, or four video cards in one system, all of them air cooling, it gets so noisy. So right now we'll be running for three minutes and uh, as you can see, we're gonna be a test of the decibel to see how loud it is. As you can hear on the microphone, it doesn't feel that loud. But anyway, let's do the, the, the test. So we're gonna be about a meter and a half away from the computer. Just to give you an idea, and this is funny, uh, an iMac, an iMac 2019, uh, we're running a high speed, uh, just, let's say render a video, render a 3D modeling, uh, something like that, it's making a huge noise. So it's about 56, 57 decibel. And this machine with four video cards installed, Titan RTX, is running at just 44 decibels right now. When we thought about uh, doing this test, uh, we want to go with the C series. That's our line for a custom water cooling uh, workstations, which give you uh, reliability, better performance temperatures, and also low noise if you want to have it at home or at your office. And by the way, this is the only option right now that you can buy it if you actually need uh, that compute power. Let's say four video cards, the only way to go right now is just water cooling. Okay, as we could see on the, on the benchmarks, uh, yes, the new version also helps a lot uh, using the new video card. I remember using, for example, the Blender 2.79, and I was having an issue with any RTX video card. I had to go online, download the files, put it somewhere on, the, on that and drive it C, and then it, it, it was a pain to make it work uh, flawless on the, on the Blender side. But now with this new version 2.80, it's automatically supported. All the new RTX card and how they say, they are using the tensor cores inside. It's something important to keep in mind here because the tensor cores give you more uh, performance in lighting, uh, path retracing, of course, that's what we're using, and offline rendering, it also helps a lot. We can see on the benchmark uh, it, that sometimes we get five times better performance compared, for example, with the 1080 Ti. And this is just because of the tensor cores. On the other side, we have the CPU test and the GPU test. And as you can see, even buying the expensive CPU like this one, the 9980XE, that costs $2,000, the video card is still better. Like for example, the Titan is almost 1.9 times uh, better than this one. And you can always upgrade. That's another thing to keep in mind here. The CPU is just one socket on the motherboard. There's nothing else you can do. If you want to upgrade, you need to buy another computer. But with GPUs, let's say you want to start with this machine and you want to install just one video card. In future, that's not a problem. You can upgrade and scale as many video cards as your motherboard supported. Like in this case, this motherboard support to four video cards and you can just be adding and the increase of performance as you could see on the benchmark is uh, a scale in parallel. So for example, if you get 300 points with one video card, with two video cards, you get 600 points. Okay, thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If you like, leave the comment below, give us a like, that really helps us. And uh, let us know, let us know in the comment any questions you have. If you want to perform us on the build, we have crazy builds here on the channel. Uh, and in the website that you can check on the description. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.